Hi everyone, this is Zion. Welcome back to another Let's Play The Sims 3, my main family. As you can see, a lot's changed since we were last here. Um, we've been doing a lot of fishing, trying to collect for Christopher's lifetime wish of getting 13 perfect fish. Right now he has four. And these nice little fish bowls. As you can see, it's kind of difficult to find the space for all the perfect fish we want to have in fish bowls. <laughs> we have a nice little blowfish or minnow it, it's interesting how these huge sharks only occupy the same amount of space as a little goldfish we are going to scoop these up because they're not perfect qualities we only have four perfect quality fish right now both Christopher and Aurora have shown a desire to have another child so we'll probably have take care of that a little bit later meanwhile Samantha's grown up to a toddler now. She has been working with her toys a lot. And she has pretty much done as much as she can with these two uh, learning toys here. So once she gets a little bit older, hopefully those will play out pretty nicely for her and her skills. Christopher has upped his career to uh, level 9 now. He only needs one more until he's maxed out. Meanwhile, Aurora was already maxed out, if you remember. Um, and when your performance goes up to the top and you're already maxed out, you just get raises on top of that. So she's about $100 more than level 10 by itself would be. So we'll just play through the day and then we'll try for a baby a little bit later. Aurora should go ahead and call a babysitter today so she can go to work. And as you can see, we have Christopher scooping out all the fish that aren't perfect so we can get those out of there. Let's speed this up to speed two and call our babysitter. And then all the fish that aren't perfect we've just been selling. And you can actually make quite a bit of money from fishing. <laughs> and let's have him finish feeding the fish. The biggest problem with trying to keep all those fish is you do have to feed them quite a bit. And I'm kind of curious as to where his car is. Oh, it's way back here. doesn't seem to want to go to work. Apparently she got the day off. I'm not entirely sure why. But she has been getting paid for her days off, so that's pretty good. Well, we do have a babysitter here now, so I'll go with somebody to talk to. Let's go ahead and make some breakfast for us. As you know, I always lean towards the food that I actually have the ingredients for. Christopher has taken a lot of the food to try out different baits and stuff for the fish. And he's been reading quite a bit too. If you look in here, you can see all the fish and their baits from that he's learned from reading. Trying to just learn the baits by fishing, I've realized it's quite hard. And it's best just to read the books to get the knowledge of the baits that you need for each kind of fish. I have redecorated quite a bit. The kitchen's changed a bit. I've added a lot more counters. I've completely furnished this back bathroom back here. And just as the money's been coming out, I've been furnishing the rest of them. Looks like we did break our TV, so we can buy a new one real quick. And let's go ahead and go to the living room, get ourselves a new TV. Let's get a bigger one. That's going to be a lot of our money, but that's okay. We're making quite a bit of money. Aurora has 
enjoyed playing with Samantha quite a bit. That's just a travel to Egypt opportunity. I haven't been doing any of the world adventures opportunities just yet. Just been working on the basics. She's already eaten, so we don't need to do that. One of the biggest problems I've realized with having cabinets is you can't see everything very well, even though it looks pretty nice. So I might just end up taking those back out. And we've been trying to teach Samantha how to walk. So let's see if we can do that a little bit more. It does take quite a bit of time, but that's okay. I do have aging going a lot slower than normal. Um, still got 24 days till Samantha grows up to become a child. So it gives us plenty of time. As you can see, she's almost done walking. And after that, maybe we can teach her to talk. Alright, Samantha can walk now. And apparently that music's really loud when we learn how to walk. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And we'll just sit here and teach her to talk. Alright. And Christopher Shibomi's almost off of work. And the biggest problem between switching between families is all these lifetime wishes, kind of, or these uh, wishes and and uh, hopes disappear. So I, I don't like switching between families when I have a lot stored up like this. And I want to go back to play the Back to Basics family, and I probably will right after this episode. So we just need to have them try for another baby, so I can do that. It's the biggest wish that we have right now. As you can see, my money went from 2000 to 6000 in one day. I mean, they're both making a lot of money. So I've just been furnishing with really nice stuff as as the money rolls in. I'll finish the bathrooms next, and then I'll start furnishing the study downstairs, and then I'll finish the rest of the bedrooms. And then we did get a lot of these toddler toys. Pretty much everything that you can buy for a toddler. And then a cooking oven that's actually for children, but... That was just so we can see what kind of different things we could do with the toddler and Oh apparently we've already got her pregnant, so that's good. Which also explains why she was off. <coughs> now they've both kept pretty fit without exercising too much, so we haven't worried about doing much more with her. <laughs> Alright, everything looks pretty good, so we should probably go ahead and... Let's just have Timothy go fish a little bit more. find somewhere nice. We always like to go down to the ocean to fish. We'll have him start on his way there and then we'll find a spot where there's some fish over here. Here's some fish right here. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. There's a lot of different things in there so we'll go ahead and We have lettuce right now. Let's see what we really need. So we'll go back home and check that out while he's on his way there. Well, let's first see what fish we already have. 
Bibia. Cherabi Bibia. We have a clownfish, a goldfish, a minnow, and a blowfish. Alright, so there was shark out there. We don't know what sharks need. Red herring use lynx. Tuna use onion. So let's get some lynx, onion, and eggs. And we'll work on getting these three. Let's see if we have any of those in the fridge. Thanks. That lettuce doesn't seem to want to go in there. So we've got some links. Onion. Oh, we can't put the lettuce away because we're using it. That makes sense. We do have a jellyfish. So we'll just work on with the links right now. <coughs> and let's switch that to links. Perfect. Go back and see what Aurora's doing. She just needs to take care of herself. She's got her skills pretty well up there. Up there. Charisma's up. Cooking's up. She's worked a little bit on her fishing. That's just for fun. Athletic is pretty far up there. Logic's doing pretty good. And she makes quite a bit of money. So we just kind of hang out with her. Let her do whatever she likes. Aurora's hoping for a girl. Christopher's hoping for a boy. But, you know, both of them are happy with a child either way. So we'll see how that goes. And we should probably send this babysitter home. And the problem with having a toddler is they just kind of sleep whenever their energy gets all the way low. So if you wake them up halfway through, they will stay awake. It's quite difficult to get them to go back to sleep. And we'll go up here and feed Christopher's fish just to keep them alive. I'm not sure how often it, they need to be fed. We have a perfect jellyfish we can throw in there. And I don't name them. This many fish is not really necessary. I just give them whatever name the game wants to give them. So we're up to three, four, five, six perfect quality fish. So he's doing pretty good out there. We have three sharks. We got those out of the bowls earlier. They're not perfect quality. When you do put fish into the bowls, it'll automatically select the best quality fish first from your inventory. So you don't have to try to figure out how you need to do it to get them in there. Let's go ahead and feed Samantha a little bit. He's got a very nice swordfish. switch that bait to the onions and see how that does. Apparently it's not let us letting us use the onion, but we can use the cheese for alley catfish. We don't have any of them yet. Oops.
I don't remember if there are any out here. No, there's none out here, but that's okay. We'll see what we can get with that. Alright, we woke Aurora up a little early. That's okay, she can change Samantha's diaper. Alright, let's go ahead and put Samantha down here so Samantha can play. Seems like to put them in cribs, but that leaves the baby unable to do anything. <coughs> Now let's see if we can play with Samantha when she's on these blocks. We can't do that there. We can play with them when they're learning these two. Let's see how his inventory is doing. Still no perfect shark yet. So we'll just keep selling those. We have a jellyfish. Okay, we have an anchovy. I don't believe we have one of those yet. No, so we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Alright, so now we're up to seven. Perfect. We need 13 for a lifetime wish. We should be able to take care of that. But I think that's the first tuna we've caught. It's not perfect quality yet, but it's getting there. <coughs> And there's our perfect quality tuna. Once you get your fishing skill up pretty good, it's pretty easy to get your perfect fish. You just have to make sure you get all 13 different kinds. So we only keep one of each kind, otherwise that would just be way too many fish bowls. Alright, he's out there drinking some juice now, getting juiced up. We're going to have to have him get home, take a shower and go to bed. As you can see, our family is doing pretty well. Our toddler's growing up. She's learning quite well. And both of our parents are doing good in their jobs. All their lifetime wishes. Aurora's already finished that. And Christopher's well, all on his way. Um, next time we meet again for this family, we should probably have both our kids born now. And maybe even a third on the way, just depending on what they're hoping for. And maybe Samantha will be grown up a little bit more. And then we can start playing with her as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.